Hi, and thanks for joining me. When I purchased the boat, my surveyor recommended I should do three things in particular. One was to get the boat blacked, including the underside. The second was to sort of clean and tidy up the engine compartment, which was in a bit of a mess. And the third was to clean out the water tank. Well, I had the boat blacked in July, and I have made a separate video on that, and I've put the link below. It's quite interesting to watch what one guy with his hoist and gantry does with a 15-ton narrowboat. The second item I have made a start on, I will be discussing that again in another video, but uh, this video is all about cleaning out the water tank. Now the boat doesn't have a separate tank, it is an integral tank built into the boat which comprises both sides of the boat, the base of the boat and the floor of the well deck, into which is an access hatch with a filler cap to one side. What you're about to see is my efforts in draining the tank, drying it out, getting rid of the rust and sediment, giving it a special rust treatment, then coating the walls with a special bituminous paint, leaving it to dry for days on end, and then eventually filling it. This work was done in July, during one of the hottest summers we've had. Temperatures were up to 30 degrees. It was not very pleasant work. It was smelly and uncomfortable, dusty at times. Um, I've done the best I can. I didn't film every aspect of it because it was very difficult um, with the echoing and the sun and the reflections and all that sort of thing. But anyway, I hope that um, it gives you an idea of what's involved in cleaning out a water tank. So please enjoy. I like to start with a clean working area. First task is to remove the cover and see what lies beneath in the murky depths. I've now got all the bolts loose apart from this one which has a different size head. God, it's tight. Very tight. I'm going to spray some easing oil on it. Give that a little while to soak in and I'll come back to it. I've got all the bolts out now, apart from the difficult one. been banging for what seems like half an hour but I have now got it loosened and here's the last few turns. Hey. The next thing to do is see if I can get the cover lifted. Let's see how we get on. I've tidied it up a bit around the edges I'll have another go and see if I can get the cover lifted now. I think it needs to be attacked from the corner. It's beginning to come. The water is very clear. And I can see right to the bottom of the tank. There's certainly a lot of silt down there, but I have the impression it's going to clean up fairly well. The next task is to get rid of the water in the tank. You might be able to hear a tap running in the background, but that is very slow, so the only way is to bucket the water out. It's amazing really how much water the tank holds. 
I know it's 150 gallons, but when you actually see the sheer volume of it by looking down into the tank, you appreciate how much water you have on board. I did some calculations previously, and I am aware that 150 gallons weighs about two-thirds of a tonne. So when the tank is full, it does keep the boat weighted down at the front. I've got quite a lot of the water out. There's about two or three inches left. I've disturbed the sediment. That's why the water is looking browner than it did before. This is day two of the water tank clean out. I started rather late yesterday afternoon and wasn't quite sure how far I would get but was rather pleased with the progress I made. As the sediment in the bottom of the tank was rather crusty I decided that I would break it up using one of the poles from my TV area. Having done that, I didn't want the crust to harden overnight, so I decided to wash it down. I used a few buckets of water, and what this did was loosen the sediment and washed it down towards the bulkhead. Having looked in this morning, I have found that the tank is drying out quite well, better than I had hoped actually. What I now need to do is drain out the remaining water and I can start wire brushing with my drill. This is the water I need to drain out and you can see where the tank is drying fairly well. Now it's easier to see the bottom of the tank. I'm breaking up some more of the sediment. This is extremely dusty work. There's orange dust flying everywhere. You can see I'm wearing a dust mask, which I'm sure is a great help. I've also got some safety goggles to wear, but I tend to find the combination of mask, my glasses and safety goggles just steams everything up and I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to persevere though. The tank is now drying out very well indeed. I've taken off my glasses and put on my safety goggles hoping that they won't steam up too much and that I'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just having a quick break. It's quite tiring work leaning over into the tank. I've just had a quick wash and freshen up before I start again. As you can see, I'm getting on reasonably well. The tank is drying out quite nicely. In the corners, there is some moisture where the silt has collected. But as I clean this out, those areas will also dry fairly quickly. So I'm pretty pleased with how things are going at this point. <laughs> There's a long way to go though. I will need to try and get in the tank myself and uh, get in the corners and clean off as much of the surface rust as I can. I don't think one can be uh, too specific with that, but I'm doing the best I can and I'm quite happy with the progress. You can probably see I've still got some areas where I need to do some scraping. Everything I've done so far, I've been working from the top of the tank and stretching in. 
I think I now need to get into the tank to do these final areas. It's actually quite difficult for me to get into the tank, so I'm still working from the top. But I have managed to loosen some more of the sediment, as you can see. I'm going to treat the tank with a product called Furtan, which converts rust to an inert, stable surface that can be painted or coated. I've started the Furtan treatment by brushing into the corners. I'm now going to use my long-handled roller. I'm very nearly done now. I've done the sides, just finishing off the bottom. And here we have it. I'm sorry about the glare which can't be avoided in the bright sunshine. Well I've finished the Furtan treatment, I've done the base and the sides, I've also tried to do a bit of the underside of the top plate, that's not so important, there's very little rust on that, I'm satisfied with what I've done and I think probably I'm going to call it a day. It's recommended on the Furtan label to dampen the treated surface after about an hour. So that's what I'm about to do. That was the best I could do using the spray bottle. More wet than damp I would say. Tomorrow I will have to deal with the rust on the access plate to the hatch because I've not done anything with that so far. This is the third day working on the water tank. Today I'm going to clean up the water tank cover. I'm going to take off the old seal around it and clean off the rust. I don't suppose I'll do much more today as the fur tan treatment needs 24 to 48 hours to dry off. Well that has removed most of the rubbers around, I just need to tidy it up now. That's the first part of the clean completed. The cover is now ready for the Furtan treatment. Just wiping over the cover with some clean spirit. I didn't really need to treat the edge of the cover as it wasn't rusty, so I've left that corner and I've wiped it off elsewhere. I've just been removing the black powdery deposit using a sponge and a squeegee sponge. It's not easy to get in there but I've done the best I can. Today I'm going to give the water tank its first bituminous coating. I'm not intending to do any filming as I'm working in a confined environment and there will be a lot of fumes so I want to crack on with the job as quickly as possible. Well I think I'm ready. I always find it awkward wearing um, goggles because they tend to steam up. Anyway let's see how we get on. This is the coating I am using. You can see where I've washed the fur tan off the original blue paintwork of the boat is quite clearly visible. The fur tan will not treat painted areas and that's why it's washed off so easily. Well I've just finished giving the tank its first bitumastic coating. I'll now need to let that dry for 24 hours before I do the next coat which I will do tomorrow. So all in all I'm quite delighted with how the job is coming 
wasn't a job I was looking forward to doing. The surveyor did recommend it and I felt that it had to be done. So once it's all finished, I will feel quite contented, I think. Well this is the fifth day working on the water tank. I'm going to give it its second and final treatment now and then it will be a matter of waiting for the tank to fully dry out. Once it's dry the tank will need to be flushed through a couple of times to remove any residues. It's the day after I gave the tank its second coating. All is looking well. I now need to leave it for a few days to dry out fully. I'll then be able to flush water through the tank. That might need to be done a couple of times and then it will be ready for use. Good morning. Today is the day I'm going to refill the water tank. I started this job last Friday week and today is Sunday. So I've been going at it for 10 days now. The tank has had a full five days to dry out, which I feel should be sufficient given the hot weather we've been having. One of the driest periods on record. I've been filling the tank for about an hour and we're about halfway full. Now the tank is full, I'm going to drain it out again. I've just given the tank its first flush through and now it's time to deal with the cover and fit the new sealant around it. I've got this rubber strip to fit around the edges. Not sure how easy that's going to be as I've got to obviously cut out holes for the bolts to go through. Got a horseshoe shaped notch to go over there. I'll give it a go, see if I can stick this on now. Working on the last strip now. I'm reasonably pleased with how well this has turned out. Let's hope it fits. Just going to tidy up some of the loose bits and pieces and then I'll see if I can fit the cover in place. This is the bolt I had trouble with before. I've now got a new bolt. I'm just trying to see if it will bolt up okay. I'm not going to do it tight. I'm going to do the other bolts first and see how we go. Well, they're all in, I just need to tighten them up now. 
None of them seem to be extra tight, so it should be straightforward. Well, all the bolts are on now. They've all been tightened up. Just need to give them an extra tweak to make sure that the sealant is being properly compressed and that the cover is on nice and tight. Right, the cover is on now, fully tightened up. All I need to do is refill the tank and I'll be putting the water in through here. And that's it. Job done. Thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have done, please like and subscribe.